Yo, what's poppin' guys? You got your boy Nandra here. Welcome to another video. So for this video, this is going to be the game three and the game five uh, of my take of my 5-0 uh, Grand Prix Take Two run. So as I said before, and for those of you who, who may have like actually caught this when it was live, I'll actually go ahead and try to leave a link to that down in the description. I forgot to do it last time, but I'll go ahead and try to edit that in and get and get around to doing that. The the game four of my of my take two was honestly like the Possibly the single hard or one of the single hardest games I've, I've had I had to play like all day all, all day like um on the day when I streamed this because I streamed it on day one I haven't gotten around to, to playing day two yet uh, I'll definitely try to like stream that for you guys in the morning after I wake up yeah because it's like it's like 2 a.m. for me anyway so we'll go ahead and get on right into it so quick context most of my most of my most of my would be 5 0 runs were always like denied uh, by Haven because I always face like two Haven in game in game four and game five, and then get rolled by and then get rolled savagely by them every single time. So the second the second versus Haven, I was like immediately tilted, but I was the tilt was made a little bit easier just because like my opponent was like low rank. Because as I said before, uh, for this GP in particular, people lots of people like like avoid like draft like the plague, but especially speaking, low rank yeah low rank players avoid avoid draft like the plague. You know, obviously speaking, there are some people who are like who are like take two Smurfs that only play take two. They do not play ranked at all. Um, but I so far have not met a single one of these people. I think. Anyway, so I kept the grave desecration and the skull ring. The reason I'm keeping the reason I'm keeping the skull ring is because obviously skull ring is on three. But the bigger question is, well, why did you keep grave desecration on Jero? Well, I kept grave desecration just because like. The, the way that his deck beats me is by killing every single unit I have, but they don't have any mode removal. So if I get enough shadow spells, grave desecration, that should be able to carry me through the game, right? Oh, I only have the one. I only have the one on grave desecration as well, um, which you guys would have seen in the in the previous thing. So, as always, we checked Mulligans. So I was really kind of surprised that he was the first person to play two drop person. But that's fine. It's whatever. I go and play Sparta Sergeant here. I'm like, cool, awesome. I actually get to play this. The Ding Dong does not really do that much for him because it, it literally just gives him another draw. He, like, so he's, he's gonna have gas for days, and that's fine. It plays the Beast Caller Aria. I'm like, sure. Or sorry, Beast Call Aria. So here I go ahead and strong with the Young Skull Ring. I'm like, cool, nice. I go ahead and get the board. I get. I go ahead and I get him fast. So it's really important that when the, that when that Arya pops, that he's forced to make it multiple trades, and that the trades aren't good, and that my dial just blows out of the park. So here he plays the young white tiger. I'm like, nice, nice, that's nice. So now what I get to do is I go ahead and uh, evolve my series and go ahead and trade. It's a free kill, so you know I always want to take the free kill when you can get it. Now there is the option to not to not evolve, but again, it's Haven. I'm kind of told that I need I need to hit him hard and fast. Additionally, while series is evolved, it does it's just so hard. It's just so much harder for him to clear. Um, additionally, I have the Odin in the back. That's nice. I only have one of Odin, and the Odin is the only way I get rid of Amulet. So, so even if he's like Seraph, I can still, I can still like cheese him out of that and just like kill it and just like kill him. So I go ahead and go face for four. That's nice. You know, off, off to a really good start here. Like he has to kill creatures on my board most likely. In which case, I'll, I'll just get it back with the Skull Ring. So here he plays Radiance Angel, and then he thinks about this for a turn. He thinks he thinks about this turn for a long time. He wanted to make the value trade, but he can't make the value trade. Yes, because if he makes the value trade, I just get back value with my skull rings. So he denies me some value here, and then makes a trade into the series. That's good. That's good. I like this. So here, I pick up Pact of the Another God. Pact of the Another God is really, is really solid, and I have a lot of options I can go for here. But I, ultimately, I choose to go ahead and play the Spirit Cycle to then go ahead and make a trade here, then play Grave Desecration. And then I'll go ahead and evolve. So, by doing this, I go ahead and I, I turn on my Spirit Cycle plus Great Desecration combo. I also hit him in the face for 8, and now he has to give me his last evolve. Yes, he can play Themis, but if he plays Themis, I, he's Themising away his Aria turn, so that's good for me. So, most likely he'll have to evolve, and again, like I said, it's not good, it's not good evolves because I have answers. But here, he Dark Chance me. So, really funny context here. Every single Haven player, like literally every single Haven player, without fail, they always hit. Me, they always hit with the young Dark John, and then just did like sad things to, to my butthole, and I was very, very sad and very, very annoyed. Like it always happened on curve, and the one game where I tried to dodge it on curve, it happened to me the turn afterwards. I was like, damn, that's wow, Dark John Magnet. Anyway, so I go up to six shadows. I burn four shadows to get the zombie. 
I then go ahead and, and trigger my um and trigger my um yeah and trigger my spirit cycle so that's good that's good for me so I go ahead and play the young Odell now it took me all to decide on this but ultimately I decided to go ahead and play the Odell I actually go ahead and actually evolve my zombie into the Dark John to go ahead and get and get me a full clear this does this does use my last Evo but he's so low he's so low like I I should be able to grind him out from the spot right and I go ahead and uh, drop him down to nine when he if he kills this if he kills this I go up to, I go back up to four shadows. I then get a zombie, I then I then trigger my spirit cycle again. I just go ahead and I, I get to like loop that for days. But here you play scripture to deny this. This is really this is really clever on his part. I liked it a lot. So now uh there's there's a chance for my spirit cycle to die from here, but it's unlikely. But here I'll actually go ahead and play up my Cerberus. Cerberus is a very expensive card. It's a very expensive card to play. So I go ahead and I actually play it now. Because I the Coco and Mimi are actually very, very relevant. Because you can use Coco plus a zombie to go ahead and make some trades and make and do some like cool things, so that's kind of cool. I have a lot of removal though. Yes, I'm going to overdraw a card, but that's fine. I don't mind. Like, yeah. But here he plays a, a raw dual flame. He's like, yo, are you what what? Hello? He then makes the evolve with the mind you. I didn't actually like this evolve that much. I mean, like, I, I get why he's doing it, but I didn't like the evolve that much. Cause your evolve literally dies in, in play. I get another trick on my spirit sec. I'm like, nice, nice, good times, good times. So here, if I wanted to, I can actually just like raw dog Mordecai. I'm never gonna raw dog Mordecai. That's just silly. So what I actually will go ahead and do though is I, will, is I actually will go ahead and use up my Coco as well as my um as well as some other cards, and then just go ahead and go face. I go ahead and remove the T2, so this way my 4-4 can go ahead and, and try to hit face twice. If it's face twice, that means I probably just win. I go ahead and trigger my spirit cycle again. And now I have a guaranteed four shadows in the yard to go ahead and, oh, in the graveyard, I'm sorry. In the graveyard to go ahead and guarantee that I have, that I have more zombies coming out next turn. But here he plays with some wards, including heavily had some other stuff. I'm like, oh, huh, okay. All right, so this turn, really important. It's really important to remember that, oh, uh, Sonya uh, only gives you only gives your only gives herself protection from damage. She can still be killed. She can still be killed with, with removal with, with a removal effect like like the one I just drew here. Now, right, so I do miss lethal this turn only because like I'm I'm just I don't know like I, I was like heavily tilted and I don't know like like, like all the like playing versus so much haven it just like it just like did something to me. Um, just because like. Like it, it, like it seemed like one of those. Oh well, this is like too good to be true. Like it, 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 sh it should be like it should be like impossible for me to, for me to win somehow because he he's gonna bullshit. He's gonna like bullshit me out of this game somehow. I'm gonna lose. So I go ahead and actually miss the lethal here. Very unfortunate. I go ahead and make the trades. I mean, granted, I'm at the, I'm at the part of the game where it's impo where it's almost impossible for me to lose. But you definitely do not want to miss lethal when you have the option to do so. So I go ahead and slam the young Mordecai trying to go for trying to go for another setup. Um. I get my draw with a spirit cycle, but I've already drawn a ton of cards. Like I, I, I just have gas for days. Like, like he, he's been like, he's been on like three or four cards for the last like several turns. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so here he plays the inc incandescent dragon. Finally, my spirit cycle dies, and so here yet again I have lethal set up. Um, I just need to not choke. I go ahead and use the call of the void. I get the zombie. I think I'll play the voices. I'm like nice. So I could have just played the voices immediately, and that would have given me lethal. Because if you attack with a Bane unit, even if, even if the Bane unit only does zero damage, that still is still it still has Bane, so so the creature will still die. Uh, the, and but I had to I, and no matter what, I had to kill the the yeah, the wow the incandescent dragon. The reason why I had to kill the, the incandescent dragon is because like incandescent dragon's effect is whenever whenever an opposing creature attacks, give that creature minus two minus zero permanently, just strips permanently. So obviously that had to happen no matter what, and you know we got there, we got there, pop champ. So at this point, for those of you who are keeping track, I'm currently 3-0. Now, the last several times that I've been like 3-0 in like anything, I, I usually go on to lose the next two games in a very, very like what the fuck fashion. Um, so I was like, so I was like a, bi a big concern for me go going to like going into these, uh, going into these, into these like next games. But I'll get into like I said, I'll get into guys the sword, yeah, the sword game just because like the the Haven game was its own separate bag of worms. I just separate separate bag of worms. Jesus Christ. Alright, so versus Swordcraft, typically speaking, you and Shadow are pretty favored as long as you don't get like aggroed down. Uh just cause like if you can make it to Lake and you just like you just get to outgrind them. Like you just get to outgrind them and do like crazy things to them. because um, like the only broken like late game card for for Sword is like is like Leonidas really, really honestly speaking. So 
And Leonidas is really hard to play by itself. Like, it's really hard to just, like, slam down Leonidas and be like, okay, well, well, this, well, this is a play that I feel comfortable about making. Unless you have, like, Cyclone Blade or unless, you, unless your opponent just, like, has to kill it because they're, like, afraid of Arthur or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so my hand is good. And I see that my opponent is AA. This is a step up from, from what I from what I've uh, from what I've gotten in this run. Now, for most of my runs, I actually did I actually did get paired versus masters for most of them. Uh, it was just like this this one run that had like low had like low elo play, uh, players. Anyway, so I have a really good hand. I really get really really strong hand. I go ahead and play up the skeleton ogre. Skeleton ogre is nice. It's really hard for him to it's really hard for him to kill it. Uh, he can't he cannot just lance with lance with the tempest. He would have to play Mars here or something like that plays Mars, I'll just kill it. But here he plays a Pompous Princess, doesn't have a one drop. I'm like, oh, huh, okay. So that gives me a free kill. I, 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 I guess I, I guess he just like forgot what was in his deck. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I go ahead and kill it. Yeah, like the, the killing it's fine. It's pretty safe. I um, I can't really get punished by anything. He plays the whole soul swing. I'm like, sure, that's fine. He then plays the, the, uh, the, the Innocent Princess Prim. I'm like, okay, sure. So this turn. I get to go ahead and get out my Grave Desecration. I also get to go ahead and play out my Lord Death Skull. I get to evolve it. Now, my now by making the evolve, it's really solid because he he needs to have something. He needs to have something that gets rid of a three four that also gets rid of both of these tokens in the process. So it would need to be exactly Quick Blader plus like Frontline Cavalier. Um, where is it? Well, sorry, Quick Blader plus, plus a two drop that evolves. Like if he has that, he's good to go. Or possibly say a removal spell and then and then also trading with Prim. But instead, he plays a like Konoichi Master and then just like passes. I'm like, what? What? Hello? What? What? So this is a really greedy play by him. I did not understand at all what was happening or what was going on. I, I'm just like, okay, well, if, if, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna trade, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring the, I'm gonna have to bring the hurt. So I go ahead and I smack him in the face for seven. So the big things about this: one, I control more creatures than him. Two, I'm threatening lethal here. Three. If he makes the trades, no matter how he makes these trades, I, he will always get blown out by Odile. Four, Lord Death Skull is actually about to get value, Pog Champ. Um, and then lastly, five. Uh, again, like I said, like his deck can't afford to just like dirtle around. Like uh, his deck needs to go in fast and hard, and just you know have like you know things going on. So here he plays Ruth Ruthless Assassin as well as Shield of Flame. I'm like okay, all right, that's not bad. Now he killed. All right, so first mistake, he killed the Lord. He killed the Lord Death Skull immediately. I like so I usually I usually prefer it, uh, for people to go ahead and like actually like isolate that to, to guarantee what target you'll get it on. He gets it on my one one. Now by getting on my one one, that now means that all these traits are like bad for him. Like if he had gotten it on the one four, significantly better. Like, like I, I do mean significantly better because the the one four is a lot harder for me to kill for me to kill off. Like, like I'm I'm probably never going to, never going to want to kill it off, right? So. Whereas with the whereas with the one one I can always kill the one one off especially especially if he, if he exposes the uh, the two one like that anyway I go and play I go and play the young Odell Black Swan I'm like cool nice this is amazing I go ahead and make the trade there and then I go ahead and I evolve my zombie or sorry, my skeleton to go ahead and, and trade into his to go ahead and, and trade into his Odette and then I go ahead and go face for one at the end of the turn he takes two his board is wiped. And now that he's lost the board, and I get the Grave Desecration thing going, and I also have Mordecai in the back. It's just game. Like, he, th there's no coming back from this. Like, he can try, but he's actually just, always just dead. Anyway, here, this turn, he plays he plays Gawain. He then evolves the Gawain. I, um, honestly speaking, I would have just played the, the Gawain for the, the Gawain for the Enhance and just sacked it, but apparently he decides differently. I didn't really understand what was going on with that. Because he, uh, in in interestingly enough, he's actually still dead to Ektar. Um, if I have it, or second, or not, not, not quite second or doubt, but, but definitely dead to second actor or dead to surface as well. But here, I just gonna, you know, keep bringing down the hurt. I go ahead and play the, play the young, uh, Sword and Eternity Hunter. I get the Eternal Potion. Honestly speaking, I could grab whatever I wanted to at this point, and I would not get punished. There's no, there's no way for me to die. Like, there's really no way for me to lose this game. But, you know, still gotta go ahead and, you know, play it safe, you know, do the things you gotta do, and then try to, uh, try to get what you, try to get what you, what you need to get going. But here, he just makes some plays, and he just, he's literally dead on board. He's just making the plays, just you know, show me or, or whatever. I guess maybe hoping I take pity on him. Nope, there there can be there can be no pity. I want my five zero. Let's get it. Yep. So I go ahead and kill him. Nice, Pock Champ. Yeah. So that was the game four, or sorry, the game five. I'm sorry. The game four will be out later tomorrow. Um. Yeah. Like it's pretty. It's pretty good. It was pretty. It was pretty long video by itself. I think. Um. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Yeah.
uh really quickly just just to make sure that i cover you know all, all of my uh all my bases this is really quickly the, the deck i well this is really quickly the list i use for this gp and yeah. it was pretty solid for the most part like i didn't have i didn't really have like many problems with it. i think like the only card the only like real card that like didn't perform was like necropolis was like necropolis queen um but even then like like i don't know i i, I saw i saw it like i saw it like perform for a few other people just just not for me and that's like fine but yeah um anyway if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like go ahead and hit the subscribe button let me know what you thought about the take two uh about the take two gp games uh if you guys have played any let me know if you guys had like had like a class you guys liked um also things also things they like might that you that you as a person might like want might like want to like watch me play uh when i stream these and yeah uh, I also do stream stream these, and I, I, ha I more or less like have you guys like chat draft for me if you guys like want to do that as well. Um, you can definitely check me out at uh, twitch.tv backslash nondro, which is at that, which is actually down in the description. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.